Hi everyone and welcome back to the Shannon Lee Show. So I have decided to make this seasonal transition book recommendations videos a thing where it's basically a little series of four videos. Later on in future years if I feel like I need to add more books I will in a new video but as of right now it's just going to be the four videos spring to summer which is already up and linked down below, summer to autumn or fall which is this video, fall to winter and then and then winter to spring. And those two videos will come kind of during that transition from those respective months but with all that said let's get into this video. Video. Okay, so this is the time that I'm calling Cool Summer to kind of be in theme. As I said earlier, my previous book recommendations video, Warm Spring Book Recommendations, is linked down below in the description, and I figured I needed another video title kind of in theme with that. So this one's Cool Summer, basically that transitional time where summer is starting to cool down into autumn, into fall. I feel like we all really like that time to a certain extent because it's starting to cool down. Although I will say here in California, it doesn't really cool down. It just stays high and we start burning. So literally California goes up in flames most of the time. And this year is probably going to be particularly bad considering how much rain we got in the first couple months of the year, which is great. But also at the same time, that amount of rain means much more green and means much more fire fuel. And one more thing before we get into this video, many of these book recommendation videos under that transitional theme for the seasonal changes, many of these lists will have some overlap because a lot of these books are good transition books overall for the seasons. And I will say now what I'm pretty sure I said or sort of said in the last video, and basically what I've kind of said is that many of these books are good for many of these seasons. Like many of these books are good for both summer and autumn, which is why they fit really well in the transitional period because they can get you ready for autumn. They can help you kind of let go of that last bit of summer. That's why they make good books in the transition period. And sometimes some of these books are also good for spring or for winter. So there's no one type of seasonal recommendation for these books, although many of them are more suitable to a specific month or a specific season. There's no one way to recommend these books. This is how I'm just choosing to recommend many of these books. But with all that said, let's actually get into this video. I am going to go into these books with little explanation. I am going to try to explain a little bit, but to keep this video on the shorter side, I'm not going to explain all these books in detail as to why they fit, but I will explain a little bit just to give a little bit of context. First up is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm pretty sure I recommended this book in my Warm Springs book recommendations video, but it also fits here because it's a good transition book for most of the seasons, and I probably will include this in the fall to winter and then winter to spring book recommendations videos. I'm pretty sure I will include this in both of those videos as well because it is a short book, an easy book, and in my opinion, it really feels like you're going on the journey with Bilbo to Erebor and you're experiencing all of this stuff with Bilbo a lot of the places are very spring, are very summer, are autumny, folly, and are very wintry. So I feel like this would be a good transition book for any of the seasons and especially for summer to fall. The second book on this list is Sleepy Hollow and Other Tales by Washington Irving. This is the Canterbury Classics Word Cloud Press edition and I think this book along with a couple of other books on this list really help you get into that spooky vibe that is fall especially October fall. So this is a really good transition to kind of help you get into that spooky foreboding sense for the upcoming holidays. Next up is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this is a Barnes & Noble soft leather bound edition, leather bound soft back edition. Not entirely sure what to call it because it's not a hardback, it's a soft back, but it's still leather bound. We all know the classic tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories will really help you get into that spooky vibe, that haunted vibe that I think we all like for September and October.
Next up is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. And this is a Barnes & Noble leatherback edition. It's really shiny. I really like this. Now, The Count of Monte Cristo has always been a very summery read for me, mainly because I think I read it for the first time in the summer. This also has really good haunting, chilling vibes that are perfect for autumn, for fall. And the intrigue within this book really fits into the fall vibes. But at the same time, this is also a very summery book. And I don't think it's just because I read it in the summer but it definitely has some summery vibes, some summery locations. So I think it is that good transition from summer to fall to autumn. Next up is Homer's The Iliad and The Odyssey, specifically The Iliad, but I don't have a separate edition of The Iliad. Both The Iliad and The Odyssey work for this transition period. The Iliad focuses on the last year of the Trojan War and The Odyssey focuses on Odysseus's journey home after the Trojan War. Next up is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This is definitely a read more for the beginning of fall rather than the end of summer. It does really bring you into that mystery vibe, that haunted vibe, that whodunit vibe. The way I kind of see this book is that it is a mix of Clue, the 1980s, I think, movie with Tim Curry, Groundhog Day, along with some Agatha Christie novels, specifically Poirot. But this is a good book for that transition from summer to fall because it starts to get you into that mystery vibe that I think I like personally with fall and that a lot of people I do think like. Next up is Bravely by Maggie Stiffater. This book is another book that could fit within all transitional periods between the seasons because this book does take place over the course of a year and Merida trying to help out her family within that year. This is such an amazing book and you get to explore the realm of Scotland within Brave and we also get to see more of Merida, more of her brothers, more of the castle life and life within Scotland and other kingdoms. So this is a really good transitional book in my opinion. I hesitated including this book in this list because I did not like it. And you may be saying, Shanna, why are you recommending this book if you didn't like it? And the way I see it is just because I didn't like it, that doesn't mean that other people won't like it. And it doesn't mean that it didn't have potential just because I didn't like it. The next book is Raising the Horseman by Serena Valentino. This book is a semi-retelling, semi-sequel to The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, specifically the Disney retelling of that story. This kind of fits into similar reasons as The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Tales by Washington Irving. Good haunty book, good book to get you into the mood for October for Halloween or just that haunty vibe of fall in general. For me this book just lacked execution of its premise which is why I personally did not like it and it was a real letdown for me because of that and for me it was also very repetitive and there were a couple things that I was questioning as to why it was written this way but other people might like it if you're watching this and want to give this a try please do just because i didn't like this book doesn't mean other people won't as i said Next up is Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. This is another book that overlapped with the spring to summer transition, the warm spring book recommendations video that I did because very summer location, yet you have this murder mystery that kind of puts a damper on the vibrancy of the place, the vibrancy of the location, and the vibrancy of summer. So it's a really good murder mystery transition for summer to fall. Next up is The Circus Train by Mita Puri. This book centers around our main character Lena in 1938 in the midst of World War II. She is stuck in a wheelchair because of a childhood bout with polio and now there's like no hope for her to walk again. And this book really has that nice journey that really helps with the transition specifically for the summer to fall transition. And it's a really heartfelt story about her journey dealing with being in a wheelchair, dealing with her father being in the circus, dealing with World War to dealing with the friendships and the relationships she has or doesn't have.
Last up is The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. This is another murder mystery mixed with paranormal seances and talking to the dead and one girl search to find the killer of her sister. I really enjoyed this book more than I thought I would with the seances and the murder mystery again and just everything going on in this book. It's such an amazing book for that transition from summer to fall. I hope you all enjoyed those recommendations and if you've read them let me know what you thought in the comments. Please leave your own recommendations recommendations for books to read during that summer to fall transition down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for my next video.